Your turn. What we're seeing is that the volume of surgery is expanding around the world. The number of operations when we last did work with the World Health Organization, there was close to a quarter billion operations done every year in the world, and it had exceeded the volume of childbirth in the world. What we're also seeing is that the safety does not necessarily follow. In five years, we've advocated use of the life-saving WHO Surgical Safety Checklist to dozens of teams working on the front line of the surgical safety crisis. We've partnered with many other organizations to educate thousands of healthcare providers on safer surgical techniques. And we've delivered over 11,000 life-saving oximeters in over 100 countries around the world. With any operation, there is always danger from complications, infection, and despite our best efforts, there is always risk of death. We cannot yet eliminate these risks. We can help minimize them by providing safe anesthesia and infection reduction to patients around the world. You know, I've entered this profession out of a desire to help relieve suffering and help people achieve their potential. If there's something I can do to minimize those folks that I hurt rather than helped. Otherwise, you know, what am, what am I here for if I'm, not, if I'm not helping them rather than hurting them?